Welcome to Itrafik. In this video, we are going to study about pointers. Pointers, it is a very confusing thing in C programming. But it is very important to do high level programming, especially to manage data structure like list, struct, array, trees, graph, etc. So, before studying about pointer, we have to know what is a pointer. It is nothing but a variable that is stored the address of some other variable. So with the help of that pointer, we can control that particular variable which can store multiple values. Now we use, uh, suppose we have to know the address of a particular variable, at that first time we can use percentage %p format specifier along with m% symbol. Like uh, suppose I want to know the address of variable x, then we will write m% x and instead of percentage %d we will write percentage %f so let's have an example how we can see the address of a variable suppose we have a variable that name is x and we have to know the location of x so we will write percentage %p and m% the variable name that is x now if we execute the program we will get the memory location of that variable x that is 000061fe1c now if we write instead of percentage %p percentage %d then you will see we will get some other variables other values we will not get the answer as 10 this time we are getting some other variable like 6422044 so if we have to get the particular value of the variable we will have to cut the name we will just write the variable name now we will get the value as 10 so this way we can see the address of a variable now suppose we have to declare a pointer how we will declare a pointer to declare a pointer just we will write first the data type of the pointer suppose we are declaring an integer pointer so we will write int and we will write star symbol when we give star symbol that means it is a pointer after that name of the pointer suppose my pointer name is p equal and here i am storing the address of x so we will write m person x that means inside the pointer p i am storing the address of x now if i write instead of x pointer p then i will get the value as 10 as you will see the answer is came as 10. Now if I do some modification with the pointer then you will see it will affect the main variable. Suppose I am writing this way pointer p equal or just p equal x plus 10. So here I am defining a variable x equal 10. After that I am declaring a pointer and there I assign the size of 10. Size of x. After that again I am writing p equal x plus 10. Now let's see what will be the output. So while I am executing the program. PTR, PTR 10 so while I am executing the program I am getting the value as 20 now if I write instead of pointer x then at this point also we will get the value as 20 only because it directly accessed that particular memory location and change the value of it so this way we can directly access the computer's memory location or memory addresses now for what purposes we use pointer we use pointer for this following points to manipulate the computer memory to reduce the size of the program to assign memory space dynamically and to 
write or to create program that are related to data structure. Here is one example of pointer like we have a point variable 10 as I have already showed and we have a pointer there I am storing the address of this variable and now this 10 we can call by this variable name or we can also call by the point pointer name. Now one more thing is uh, there in book size of operator. It is important it's come in exam what is the use of size of operator it returns the size of a variable suppose I want to know the size of x x is an integer variable so size should become as 2 so we'll write this way printf and inside that we'll write percentage d as we want to display as an integer and after it we'll write s i z e size of and in bracket will pass the name of the variable x then semicolon so the answer will be 2 sorry now this integer is 4 bytes but if we have a character variable then what will be the answer so intc and we have a character here i am storing one on so what will be the size of c let's see size of c it should be one byte oh i have written percentage d only it should be it should be d only b o there is my mistake i have declared a variable as integer it should be actually chr character now if i execute the program the size is return as 1 and if we have a floating point variable there suppose a float and there i am my variable name is f and i am writing the value as 1.2 now the if we write percentage the size of f the answer will be 4 bytes only. The answer is 4. So by using size of operator, we can get the size of or means how much space is occupied by that particular variable on our computer memory. And in this pointer chapter, I think you don't have to waste your time by studying this part, how we can assign values to an array and all. Just uh, from that in exercise, some questions are given that what will be the output. If you understand that part, normally they are giving directly from the book, especially question number four. Like the first question is int ptr x equal 9. It is written this one, int then ptr means it is a pointer and x equal 9 means there are two integer one is pointer and another one is x x is 9 and here written ptr equal m percent of x and asking the value of printf percent is d and here ptr plus plus now what plus plus operator do it add plus one to a variable now what answer we will get when we execute the program we will get the answer is nine because that plus plus operator is given afterwards means first it will display the value of x or the pointer which is 9 after that it will add 1 to it then it will be 9 but we already got the output is 9 but if we give the plus plus sign before the variable like if we give before then we'll get the answer is 10 here it will be like 1 plus 9 it will display 10 and it will terminate from the program now you can see the answer is 10 and now next program same pointer x equal 9 
and PT are in ampersand x and the first line percent is the PTR plus plus so after this variable plus plus sign is there and second line that it's written directly PTR now in this program you'll see at first x is 9 when we wrote PTR plus plus in this line uh, line number 6 in this line it will display the value of x which is 9 after that it will add 1 to 9 means the value of x will become 10 in next line again we are displaying only PTR so at first line we will get the output as 9 and second line as it was 1 add it with 9 so it will be 10 so uh, output is 9 and 10 so let's execute the program and see the output is 9 and 10 after did the third program int ptr x equal 9 and ptr ampersand x and here one more variable have int y equal plus plus then ptr means pointer and here displaying percentage d y displaying the value of y so line number 8 is not required now how does the program work at first x is 9 and the address of x is stored in the pointer so pointer is also 9 now in one more variable is there y y equal writing plus plus ptr that means 1 plus 9 it is 10 so the value of y should be 10 let's execute the program so the answer is 10 now we'll go to question number d they written character pointer here not integer so character pointer ptr and one variable x and the value is capital A and pointer and person x character now another character variable character y and it is written as equal ptr and after this displaying percentage c y now here x is a and we are storing the address of the x in pointer so again y we are writing y equal the point equal to pointer so definitely the value of y is a only let's execute the program so the output is a now question number e character pointer after that x equal a then we are defining the pointer as address of x and character y pointer plus plus means after the pointer variable plus plus so what will be the answer of you know, value of y first let's execute the program and see the output and after that i am telling why it is like that answer is a only as before question number c i have told that when we add this plus plus symbol the value evaluates after printing the number sorry uh, as it is after the here we are writing character y equal pointer plus plus so at first it will store a and after that it will evaluate the plus plus symbol so the value of y will be a only but if we give plus plus symbol before then let's see what happens now we are getting as b because here evaluation is done before only after that like plus plus pointer bit that means one plus the num next number of a is b so b will be stored in y that's why hmm, the value of y is b after that uh, question number f i think f we have done question number g pointer character pointer 
x equal a pointer ampersand x character again character point y pointer this means here two pointers are here character pointer y after that y equal ptr means in y value of ptr is stored now print it here we are writing percentage c percentage c and writing plus plus pointer y after that semicolon now you see axis a we are writing ptr in n person x so definitely pointer will also be a after that writing character pointer y again y equal ptr so y is also a but in here plus plus y that means the next character of a is b so the answer should be b let's execute it so you can see the answer is b so if you prepare these questions for your matric examination i think definitely one or two marks will come from these eight questions and normally you see from pointer chapter like what is pointer it is a special variable that store the address of another variable and why we use it i have already given some points and uh, what is the size of operator size of operator is used to return the size of a variable so these things are important if you just prepare this much then i think you can easily do and if some other question comes related to pointer then definitely our option will be there and the remaining part uh, how we can apply pointer in an array we will discuss in some other videos for today's video this much only thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye